Welcome to the Old Sports Complex and be ready for another Battle of the Bears. It's the Kodiaks and the Old Grizzlies. I'm Tim Ellis. We are in the Home Time Realty Broadcast Center. They face off about to get underway. The Kodiaks will be in their road white uniforms trimmed in red and black with the white helmets. They will go from left to right in this opening period. It will be Carson Ironside who gets the start to my broadcast left. For the Old Grizzlies, they will be in their home black uniforms trimmed in gold and white with the black helmets. They will go from right to left and they will start the very busy man, Aiden Como, in net to my broadcast right. The referees for tonight's hockey game, Logan Hill and Caden Knutson. The linesman, Jeremy McLeod and Ty Elliott. They have had their meeting at center ice at the Grizzly logo. And we are about set to get underway as Caden Knutson will drop the puck. And another battle of the Bears for the Kodiaks. Blake Green to take the face off. And it's controlled by the Grizzlies. The cross and gave it away to Masters. Here's Masters, partial break. Masters walks in, still with it. Goes to the backhand and a left toe save there. Made by Como as Masters was hounded from behind. Now he's in 44 games. And Masters steals the puck and he's got another breakaway. Here's Masters. He walks in, goes to the backhand and Como stopped him again. Bouncing puck, he goes after it. Now comes in front, backhand, saved by Ironside. In the corner, Lazinski after the puck, takes it behind the net. Centered it, Tom, shot, left pad, saved by Como in tight. Lansing fighting for it, he's got it, here's Lansing now. Lansing walks in, he's tied up, held, penalty coming up. And the Kodiak's about to get a power play, maybe. And then Miller runs into Como, and the Grizzlies run into Miller, and he takes a push from Como, and uh, now we've got all kinds of bodies down at the side of the Grizzly net, and I'm not sure what's going to happen out of this. The Grizzlies were getting the original penalty as Lansing was held going in. And now they're going to escort Rhett Miller to the penalty box. To Tardiff. He'll get it to Matthews. Matthews walks in, shoots, saved by Como. It rolls underneath. They score! Levi Carter at the side of the net, and he poked that one home. It will be a power play goal for Carter. As Como got a piece of it, but not enough. And it lay there for Carter to bang home. And he's got back-to-back -back goals on the power play, does Levi Carter. That's his 10th of the season. And Matthews and Tardiff should get assists on Carter's goal. And the Kodiak strike first in the power play. And lead this by a score of one to nothing with 5.53 remaining in this second period. By Ironside. Now Lansing floats the puck up to center. Box a missed it and it's a breakaway. Here's Lazinski, walks in and he's tied up and the puck rolls underneath the pad and there is no call on that one. Back. Now on the far side, Grizzlies have it. There's a shot. Big save by Ironside, and then the rebound goes wide. For Abbott, back to Giblin at the blue line. Now to Rampton. Shot. Score. <laughs> a power play goal for Gray Rampton. And the Olds Grizzlies have tied this hockey game 1-1 with 9.48 remaining in the third period. So both teams have now cashed in on the power play. And the Grizzlies have some life. George walks in. He'll put on the brakes. Back to the point to Brenner. Now to Bedorf. He's got room. Bedorf a shot. He scores! The Kodiaks do answer back in the power play. Brendan Bedorf will get the goal. And maybe it was tipped in front by Lansing. We'll see. Nonetheless, the Kodiaks have taken over the lead. Two to one. Bedorf the shot. Not sure if it was deflected in front. The Kodiaks have the lead now, two to one. And the Grizzlies score. Well, it took a long time.
long time to get the first goal, and now we got a bunch of them. I was trying to listen, and it did sound like it was Lansing who tipped that Kodiak's power play goal in. In the meantime, the Grizzlies come back and score, and with 5.42 remaining, all of a sudden it's 2-2. So <laughs> it took us, took us uh, 34 minutes to get one goal, and now we've got three here in four minutes of this third period, and hits 2-2. Now Bedorf comes up with a loose puck. He'll get it to Brainer in the corner, to the left of the Kodiak's net. Long pass up ahead to center. Here's a breakaway for Barrett. Walks in, shoots, he scores! Cole Barrett got free on the pass from Brenner. And Bedorf and Brenner each have a couple assists tonight. Cole Barrett has another goal. And the Kodiaks have the lead back, 3-2 with 3-12 remaining here in period three. And for Barrett, that'll be goal number nine on the year, his fourth in a Kodiaks uniform. And it took a while, but they're coming in bunches now. Now far side, shot in front, Rampton tipped it, centered it, a shot, oh, what a save by Ironside! Wiesner got his stick on that, but Ironside right there with the right pad to keep it out, and the Grizzlies that close to tying this hockey game. Davis has skated to the corner, comes in front, Carter chopped it out, three seconds left, Davis after it on the far side, back to the point, and that is going to do it. The Kodiaks will hang on for the victory, anything but easy against these old Grizzlies and again tonight another one goal game but this time the Kodiaks win it and they'll improve to 9-8-6 and six in one goal games on the season and a big two points and a 3-2 victory back to wrap it up in the IPEC Homes Post Game Show next from the Hometime Realty Broadcast Center this is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiaks 5